Hello, hello! Welcome to Sharon B. Making Stuff! So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these super adorable photo displays inspired by fruit. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make both the watermelon and pineapple design. So let's go ahead and get started with our materials. The first thing that we'll be needing is some mini terracotta pots which you can find at any craft store or dollar store and they're super inexpensive so that's great. We're also going to need some acrylic paint, some paint brushes, some mini clothes pins which I purchased at Walmart, some bamboo skewers and it doesn't really matter how long they are, some foam balls or floral foam or whatever they call it. We'll also need a hot glue gun a cutter, and last but not least, some aquarium rocks. So once you got all your materials, let's get started. For the watermelon design, you're going to start off by painting the larger rim of your pot a bright lime green color, and that's what I'm doing right here. And don't forget the bottom of the rim as well, and the top part. And I'm also going to bring the paint down towards the inside of the pot just to give it a more finished look as well. And this took me about three layers of paint before I could get the color to be completely opaque and the streaks to be no longer visible. So I'm painting on the second layer here and I just let that dry before I painted on the third layer. And once all of that is dry then we can move on to the next step which is painting the rest of the pot a bright red color. And I think it helps to bring the paint all the way up to the edge of the rim, kind of overlapping the green a little, so you get a really nice straight line. And if you guys were wondering, it also took me about three layers of paint before I could get the red to the right opacity. And don't forget to paint the bottom of your pot as well. So just let that dry for a good 20 minutes and then we can move on to the next design. For the pineapple, instead of the lime green, I just painted the rim of the pot a darker, kind of like a hunter green. And then I went ahead with a bright, happy yellow color for the body. So for the design of the watermelon, I think it's pretty straightforward from here. We're just going to paint on little black dots, kind of like raindrops that resemble watermelon seeds. And I'm using a very fine paintbrush, but if you don't have a very fine paintbrush, you can use a toothpick. That totally works. It gets the job done. So for the first row, I think I managed about five seeds all the way around. And to paint the second row, I just used the first row as a guide, painting in a seed between the space of two seeds from the previous row. And I don't know if you guys can tell. Well, actually, I think you guys can totally tell that my watermelon seeds turned out a little bit wonky. But you know what, guys? I tried. It's all, it's all good. So we're just going to put the little watermelon aside for now and move on to the pineapple design. So for this one, you're just going to hold the pot upright and starting from the bottom, you're going to draw a diagonal line all the way up to the top and you're going to do this all the way around the pot. Then you're just going to flip the pot over and continue drawing diagonal lines while connecting them along the way. And if you look at it, they're really just V-shapes all the way around the pot. So once you are done all the line drawing, you can go ahead and start dotting all the empty spaces for the finishing details of our pineapple. So once we are done with the pots, we can set them aside to let them dry. 
while we move on to the next step which is measuring out how long we want our bamboo skewers to be. So once you have decided, you're going to take your cutters and cut off any excess and it doesn't really matter what end you cut off, point your knot, so take your pick. Next, you're going to take your hot glue gun and apply a little blob of glue onto one end of the bamboo skewer and then just place it onto one prong or one leg of the mini clothespin and just hold it there until it dries. And make sure that there is still enough room for you to open the clothespin. And just a quick tip, you can also vary the lengths of your bamboo skewers to give your photos a more layered look as well. So the next thing we're going to do is smother one end of our foam ball with a lot of hot glue and then we're going to place it at the bottom of the pot. And you're going to hold it there until it dries. So once your foam ball is set in place, go ahead and skewer in those bamboo skewers. And depending on the number of photos you wish to display, the number of skewers you're going to stick in there. And obviously this is not a permanent arrangement, so feel free to change it up whenever you wish. But once you are satisfied with an arrangement, go ahead and top off your pot with some aquarium rocks for the finishing touch. I think this photo display would look really cute with those mini Polaroid photos. But you know what guys, Polaroids are not. I think this decor piece would add the perfect, fun, summery touch to any room. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. If you did, then please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then don't forget to subscribe to share and be making stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!